takes on West Virginia Saturday night at Jordan Harris Stadium. It's a 6:45 start on ESPN2. Uh, for the second straight week, Auburn looked extremely impressive as they beat Mississippi State this past Saturday. Offensively, everything's clicking so far early in the season, especially with the running game. Uh, freshman Ontario McCaleb and senior Ben Tate are really racking up the yards with Tate getting a lot of his yardage inside on some tough hard nose running. McCaleb taking it outside. Once he turns the corner, he is hard to stop. Got a lots of speed and that one-two punch has really got Auburn moving the ball on the ground. Enough passing also to, to mix up the pass and run well. Uh, Chris Todd and Darwin Adams, that's his favorite receiver so far, hooked up a couple of times for some big gains and it really made the offense go. The offensive line, a sore spot last year, is really taken to this new offense of Gus Malzahn. It played extremely well and the Auburn offense right now the talk of the conference. Defensively, I thought the Tigers played very well at times, but there's, there were also times on Saturday night against Mississippi State that they gave up the big play. I do believe it's a Tiger defense that will continue to get better as the season progresses, playing a lot of young players right now, and as they get better, so will the defense. It was good to see El Toro Freeman get his first action of the year at linebacker. He's been hurt, of course. He gets in the game Saturday night and made a couple of plays. He's going to give the linebacking crew a, a, a more depth, and that's where they were really hurting on defense because of injuries. Freeman comes in and really adds a boost there, along with the starters who have been doing an okay job. Uh, Craig Stevens playing extremely well. Adam Herring has been playing well, uh, but the linebacking core will get just better with Freeman in there. The secondary, again, you know, it's a work in progress. Darren Bates, a freshman, continues to get better back there. The secondary is playing okay, and I think that's a, that's a unit that will continue to improve in the coming weeks. The real problem area of the game Saturday night revolves around the special teams, and that's where Auburn's been struggling a little bit. Uh, still got to find a punt returner that can get the job done. Not doing a real good job there. They're still looking. And, of course, a punt was blocked in return for a touchdown against Mississippi State. That's never a good thing. So, you know, the special teams is a work in progress that the, the coaches are going to really be focusing on this week with West Virginia coming to town. What I was real impressed with Saturday night was the fact when Auburn fell behind 17-14, to 14, they came storming right back. It was the first time this year that they really fa faced some adverse, uh, adverse conditions, and, and they responded very well. They scored two touchdowns in the final 444 of the first half to take back the lead and all the momentum and never look back after leading 28 to, to uh, 17 at halftime. State had the momentum but just for a moment Auburn turned it right back around and that's what you had to be impressed with with this young team and a team that's coming together very quickly under coach Gene Chizik. West Virginia will they will pose a threat especially offensively they're putting a lot of points on the board they got a win over East Carolina last Saturday and scored a bunch of points, just like Auburn has been doing. So I think you're going to see two very good offenses. It's going to come down to which team can play better on defense. I think Auburn's got a better defense right now than West Virginia, and that could be the key to the game. And also, I think Auburn's offense is a little bit ahead as well. So if the Tigers can continue to rack up the yards and points, I think they'll be okay Saturday. But no doubt, by far their biggest challenge coming up Saturday night against West Virginia. 6.45 start at Jordan-Hare.